Hi. So today I'm going to uh, have a look at the application that I've been using to do these uh, recordings, the screen captures uh, that I've been using to illustrate the Chisimba filters. And the application that I use is GTK Record My Desktop. So if you are in a Debian-based uh, Linux distribution, you can go to Synaptic Package Manager and GTK Record My Desktop is is part of most of them, so GTK-R. And you should see ECORRD. Uh, there we go. Uh, GTK Record My Desktop, which also is a GUI that runs on top of Record My Desktop. And that's this application that I'm running right now. So if I go to Applications, Sound and Video, because I've already got it installed, and look down, you'll see GTK Record My Desktop on the, on the screen here. I've got a second instance of it running here now, which you probably don't normally want to do. Um, you would select a window and then click record. There are some advanced options that you should you should set first. Uh, let it save your files in the default location which is the temp directory in your home directory. Um, I said I leave it on frames per second 15. Some people use 22. I find 15 works fine. Uh, you want to have zero compression and full shots at every frame. Uh, the full shots at every frame gives you a higher uh, quality picture. I didn't have to change the sound device. Um, there is a, a tutorial on changing the sound device if you need to do that. I'm fortunate that I didn't need to do that and I didn't need to change the frequency or sounds uh, and I wouldn't know how to do it anyway so I'm going to leave those as they are. The important thing here is uh, follow the mouse which is what I'm doing at the moment as I move the mouse around on the screen. As you can see I've got a very wide screen and as I move the mouse around the um, um, the recording area follows the mouse. Uh, include window decorations. Uh, that's if you want to include these things here, uh, that part of the window. And um, outline the capture area on the screen. I find this is useful because otherwise you don't know where you're recording, but some people do it without it. Um, and you can put in extra options. Here I've put in width, dash width 640, dash height 480. Uh, that's because I'm using a, f a screen follow for this particular recording. Normally if I was doing a fixed area I would leave that blank, I would untick follow mouse and I would just record within an area and then anything that I wanted to have recorded I'd just simply move it into that area. Okay so that's how you, you use GTK Record My Desktop. Once you've done that you click record and as you can see up here, I've got two instances of GTK Record My Desktop running. Let me close this one before I get confused. Um, here you can see the, uh, the icon for GTK Record My Desktop. If I click that, right click it, um, it will stop the recording and save the file. If I, uh, right, uh, if I left click it, that is. If I right click it, it en enables me to pause it. But you won't see that um, as it stands at the moment. So what I do is I make use of um, the Firefox web browser um, when I'm doing the, the, the filter tutorials and I go to my, my own little uh, site which I'm running on my, on my local host, uh, my Chisemba developer install. And I, while it's loading I have um, a plugin installed which is a resize window for Firefox and if I run the resize window I can resize it to whatever I want. So if I want to use now 640 by 480 which is the, the resolution I'm using here I'd click there. What I normally use is 800 by 600 and then I use GTK Record My Desktop's fixed area. But if I um, illustrate how I will do it uh, normally I will draw a window, I will resize the window to 800 by 600 although I've done it 640 by 480 here um, and um, as you can see it's a relatively small screen area but you can still do useful things on there so once I've I've done that at exactly the size that I want 
let's say I have another window that I then want to uh, record from. So what I do is I open that window that I want to record from. Let's say it's a notepad. And I bring that, uh, that window to sit over uh, the Firefox browser. And then I resize it until it's exactly the same size. Now I can record inside that frame uh, anything I want and it's recorded correctly. When I'm finished with it I can close it. When I want to use another window in there I can simply move it in. And that's how I made those uh, video recordings. So Chisimba developers get out there and make your own recordings. It's extremely simple. Not at all difficult. Okay, that's it for now. Bye.